Yeah, people. Morning, morning. What a beautiful day. It's me again, Tom the original Bushman. We're a little early morning ride right at Grand Rivier. Yeah. Now left the junction there and reach up by this river here. Nice river, water nice. I think I'll bring the kids them here to play later. Yeah. So I'm going to pack up and walk to Muddy River and check out where this thing down there. Yeah. Yeah. I had to toot this bike down a little hill here. I will leave it up there. You can see I come back and I see it. Well, actually, I lost this bike last year, August and December, while I was doing some work, saw a guy riding it and, you know, intervene and stuff, and I actually get it back. So, grateful for that. So nice. This is the river here, under the bridge at Grand River. Yeah. I know what kind of monsters that are here, crayfish or what. But, imagine last year for the big flood, this water. Whoa, this water was real high. There are some fishes in the water here. Yeah, boy. There are some fishes in the water. Yeah, on a damn branch. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, last year for the flood, water was over this bridge and that is about 15 feet high. Yeah. We yeah, actually the water running in this area. Water clean and nice. Supposed to have crayfish here, but should have come last night. People who have never been to Grand Rivier, the Grand Rivier. The main river in Grand Rivier. Oh, yeah, yeah, you look a big fish there. A koi, a mullet. Oh, that all, oh, almost step on a mullet. I will heave a bait. I ain't catching no fish in the sea, so I'll catch fish in the river. Yeah. Grand fish. This is not a mullet. What is this? We... I don't know what is this. Primitive style fishing they call this. Dive and grab. See? Get wet up. You gotta work with some nice fresh bait later. I don't know what kind of fish. The mullet? I find it looking like no mullet, you know. Yeah. What kind of fish is this, people? We're well, walking up the Grand River River again. Hey, hey, hey. Let me fish. For bait. Really need some bait. Sorry, you fish need to do that for you, but um, I need something to make broth later. Yeah. We are reaching a little way up the river. I really want to make this walk without the kids them, so I'll go back and get them and, and come up here. They will enjoy this walk up this river. Yeah. So we saw some nice crayfish. This river, you know. Well, you know. To be doing this, yeah, have to love the outdoors, bush and nature. To be doing these kind of stuff solely. Some people come up this side there, I want to get out of bed at all. So come and do this. They are wet. Catching fish, primitive style. 
dive and grab the collet. Anyway, couldn't get a video when I dive and grab the fish because I used my phone and had to pause the video to um, grab the fish. Right now I'm using my good sneakers, turn it into a water shoes. Water shoes, yeah. I jump on my bike and ride back down the road. We have a waterfall somewhere up here. I'll take a ride up there and um, do a little video on the waterfall. Nice tie up my fish there so I can ride freehand. Yeah. Alright, so head into the ride. Up to the waterfall. Long time I ride right? uphill and stuff, so I burn out a little bit by make. Alright, I think I'm coming up to the waterfall. Somewhere right around here. Magnificent little fall. Well, actually, um, we didn't fall in these days too heavy, so you fall and um, flowing over. Just running there, you could know. Go and stand up there and get a little sprinkles. Yeah. Well, our tunnel there and coming through the next side is a, a little pool down there. Look like it might. Have some crayfish down there. Oh, boy, boy, going there. Looking dangerous. River flowing down there. Going down to the bridge. All right, so heading back down now. Yeah. Waterfall. morning work out at Grand Revere a little ride believe me I could come and live up here I could come and live up here people yeah I, I enjoy the rural lifestyle jungle lifestyle turn into Mary River yeah anyway the other side no camping on riverbank It looks deep going further down there. Oh, I've seen some nice pomeracks on that tree there. Yes, yeah, so we're heading back now. Yeah, well, this is the arm. Um, <laughs> Next river bridge at Grand River, the short river. Yeah. Nice vegetation, cassava, fig, fruits, orange, full oaks. Yeah. Pomer oh cool, I see a tree full of pomerac here. I'm gonna check the neighbor, see if I get a little pomerac to make a little chow. Well, I meet this guy here and going to pick some pomerac here. This going up on YouTube, yeah. National Geographic. Yeah. I could video you? Yeah. Nah, yeah, man. So, what, what's your name, sir? Which one? Well, your yeah, alias nickname? Cassava. Cassava? Yeah. Nice. So, the, the, the original cassava from Grand River. Yeah. Nice. And what about the area and things? Safe and thing to walk in the night? Safe and safe. Because I come down here last night walking around 11 o'clock. Yeah, now, where are you from? I Wrong. Nice, nice. All right, man. I know where you're from. Anytime I come and I will come and check you, man. Bring a little souvenir for you. Yeah, known to you. Yeah. Cassava. Cassava, yeah. Right. I is the bush, man. I just feed some fowl here. You feed some fowl? Yeah, I'm going to check. 
I'm talking about using it. Alright, alright. So, that's all, eh? Come, come here. Come, come. Alright, so, this cassava, and the bushman, so. Come, come, man, come, come. They are his brothers, man. So, the bushman meets cassava at Grand Rivier. Yeah, man, yeah, man. <laughs> Niceness, man. Yeah, man, all the best. You're all the best, man. Yeah, yeah. And you're safe there, man? Yeah, yeah. You're safe, I am. I know one by river, they saw a little fish swimming, I dive on him and catch him for meat. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. dive on him? Yeah, I dive on him and catch him, man. I'm going to pick some pomerac with that tree. <laughs> right. Now don't vise with cassava here. And we'll uh, get permission from here too to pick some nice pomerac on that tree day. So I'm going to deal with that day right now. Yeah. River running down that side there. Road right there. This road there has no name sign or nothing to let all you know. So right. Yeah. people. There's some nice pomerac there. You man tell me you go and make market man. Yeah. You see people? So it's how you re-interact with people and you know the vibes you, you put out. You'll get back the same. Yeah. A warm welcome. I talk to this. Imagine I come up here last night to book a place. And I ain't get through the place because it have a bar and it didn't have no kitchen and any place. And I was going back along the road and I just say I'm a scout wrong, scout wrong, get a place last night and while I'm riding, I'm supposed to leave today, so while I'm riding, I'm just asking people and thing and, and, well, I'll get through our next um, apartment for tonight, so I'll be up here for another night. Hopefully tonight I'm going to um, spear some crayfish in the river, because the place I get tonight, the river about 30 seconds walk at the back. Yeah. Seen some orange up out the hill there, but I ain't going up there. Huh? Breadfruit and thing. Wish I could get one of them breadfruit. Huh.